Hello restaurant owners. Next up, I'm gonna show you exactly how to start using restaurant QR. This is going to make sure that your patrons, your customers feel safe when they come to a restaurant, bar, coffee shop, and etc. Now, how do you do it? So at this time, you should have a login. Now, once you are logged in, you're gonna click on restaurant right here. Now, this is where you go ahead and put up your, uh, put in, put, in, put up your uh, restaurant name and put in your description, restaurant address, whatever you have, okay, go ahead and put it in. I also want you to go ahead and put in your uh, information here as well. You can always go ahead and try to view your restaurant from here. Uh, keep in mind that the restaurant menu system, uh, it works not only on, uh, not only on uh, phones, but also works on desktop as well. Very simple, very easy. We're gonna show you exactly how. So let's move on. So uh, let's go right here. So once you have that, go to menu. And when you are on menu, uh, you can go ahead and click on the plus sign right here. This is going to allow you to add a category. For example, let's say you sell cakes. You put in cake right here. So save. And you have cake. Now, next up, you need to add items. So click on the plus sign and you need to add the item name, description, price. Now, if you want to add variables, once you do add the items, you can click on the item, okay? And then right here, you have an option of item is available or not. You can add variables, let me like write this. You can do add extra. So uh, extra could be cheese, and the price is gonna be $3 extra. I can add it like that if I want to as well. And if I enable variable, I'll be able to make it even more fun by adding more stuff. So if I click on add, I can click on edit right here. So cheese, um, tossed, things like that. You can add up just like that. Simple as that, okay? Now let's move on to the next step. Back to item menus. Okay and you can always make a change. So once you have added an, your items, do, you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, let's say you have you made a mistake on the price or items, you don't have to worry about changing your QR code, okay? Let's click on the QR builder. This is where you'll build it. So uh, step number one is choosing your style. So this is the typical one, I like it. You can, you can make it funky if you want to. It's up to, it doesn't really matter, it's just different styles. Now, once you do have that, you can customize the uh, colors as well. Okay, right here. Now, download the JPEG. Now, once you do download the JPEG, you can also go ahead and download the print templates as well. Now, you can just, if you wanna keep it simple, just go ahead and print out the JPEG. So download it, and you can just print it out on a piece of paper. Um, just get it printed once, okay? And then you can put it uh, in your restaurant. You can put it as a menu like this. You can put it under the table usually, or just put it on the table. Usually what a lot of our customers do is they put it under, under the table or outside, you know, where you normally put your uh, menus. So that's it. And from this point on, uh, customers will be able to see your menu straight up from their phone. So all they need to do is scan it, the QR code, or you know, if you're using the online version, uh, the desktop version, you can just go here as well. Simple, easy, and it works. It's the same thing. And like this as well, however they want it, uh, they can see all of it right here as well. And that's pretty much it.